when you guys were in the like the the actual ECW and y'all were I mean was that the mentality that y'all were competing with um or like you were saying nipping at the heels of like WWE WWF WCW so you know without you you weren't patterning anything that they were doing if anything it was off the opposite right you would see occasionally they would start implementing hardcore matches on their shows so was who who were like fr- some of the first guys that took the check and just jumped ship and went over there that they tried to use to make it seem like they're the cool kids now like hey look we have one of your guys or we have your guys now on our show yeah was that thing that was ever like did, like was there ever anything I'm like think- oh man someone sold out or whatever was that ever an issue yeah, yeah it was paul Heyman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. definitely was he was the first and we just never knew Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How does that make you feel, Cash, man? And like knowing the whole time that Paul was like getting a check and shit. I never about. knew it. I, I never knew it until after the company shut down. I, I, I just remember him taking off and going to do the, the, what was that, rollerball movie and stuff. And then while that was going on, a lot of people were talking about him talking with WWE and stuff like that. And then I heard that the last couple months of the the pay the checks and stuff were from wwe and things like that but he you know he paid me every one of my checks so uh, i didn't really care where they were coming from <laughs> so right <laughs> yeah. yeah but i never really even knew about any of it i just knew that they didn't book me one weekend and then uh wanted me to sit at home and uh then i watched tv that night and paul was on wwe and then the company oh, went out of business yeah <laughs> that was it did you ever see Rollerball? It's badass. I did. It was, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I don't think hey, I did. Paul was entertaining in it, to be fair. Yeah, but I don't know what the budget on that movie was. It was oh, a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. I want to say that's the same director that did Predator, oh, James wow. McTiernan. Well, he dropped the ball on that one, didn't he? Oh, <laughs> a rollerball. Yeah. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's official. Cafe de Rene Patreon is officially launched. And for as low as $5 a month, you can make your wrestling watching experience more enjoyable, and in some case, enjoyable, period. <laughs> so follow the link down below, and we have different tiers for everyone. And I'd like to thank everyone who has already joined up and signed up to our Patreon. Cafe Dernay Patreon. For as low as $5 a month, you can watch all your weekly wrestling with myself, Paul London, and occasionally other special guests. See you soon, guys. Thank you.